Okay, folks, welcome back. Um, we are, I was just a cub taking off on the grass, uh, landed and took off again. We're going to go to Orange County, back to Orange County. We, uh, Blairstown, one November 7, go to Montgomery. Mike Golf, Juliet. And we had some breakfast at Donna's Cafe here at Blairstown. And all of you see back there is just hanging out, looking out the window. Looking good. Blairstown traffic. Anybody for base at final for 2 5. And a deer across the way there. Blairstown traffic, uh, Moody Crossing, uh, 2 5. Blairstown. And we're going to go back to Orange County. Pretty simple day today. Airplane's running great. Um, Olive is just chilling. You wake. Blairstown Advisory Only Airport. VFR on the Well, that's it for today. It's got some things to do today at home. Sky condition. 4,900. I switched tanks. 6,600 broken. On the right tank. Celsius. Altimeter 3023. Density out. 3023. Didn't change much long. Okay, we're all good. And we'll put this side on full. PFD. Primary flight display. And I love it how it's set up here. Um, you can change it any configuration you really want. I like the fact this is when I put full screen here, it's a map. I don't know if I told you guys before, I think I did, but that's a map. If you wanted to uh, switch, you know, I can bring this to this side. All I gotta do, all I gotta do is go to display. Um, and there's a swap button here. You just swap screens, and it just swaps them. And that's good in case you have a co-pilot that's flying and going a long cross-country. You can just swap screens if you want it to. The runway is coming in over there to the synthetic vision. 2-5. Uh, Let's go back to display and swap them back. It's pretty easy. A lot of nice configurations um, that we have here with the Dynon system. We're taxiing down the 2-5. And we're going to take off. And uh, back to Orange County. The 4,500 way down. Get way back. Got some weather coming in. Uh, so I'm going to head back. And Alvin's already sleeping. <laughs> she was running around here like crazy. <laughs> oh man. So I'm going to go direct to uh, KMGJ here. It's very easy and answer enter. So we'll get that activated. Uh, there we go. Uh, first heading is 058. So let's put, let's bug 058. I get the autopilot be nice. Um, then we'll figure out what the crosswind component is up there if we got to change the heading. Uh, we got full fuel. I burnt about 10 gallons total. And um, between Sky Acres, back to Orange, and here. And we're going to do the checklist here. So the GPS is set. Everything looks set. Got the Blairstown traffic, or uh, um, frequency in 23.00. And I'm very back, you guys. Let's do the checklist. Okay, checklist is complete. Set the timer. Uh, wait for this cub. I don't know if you can see it on the screen, but he's coming in pretty good. Uh, those things are awesome planes. He, he slipped it last time. No flaps on that one. All right, we're good. We're trim for takeoffs. Flaps are 15. Mixtures for rich prop is full forward. Um, and flaps are good. Trim is good. Blairstown traffic. Uh, we taking 2-5 for departure. Blairstown. And fuel pump. And Olive is ready to go. Ready to go, Olive? <laughs> All right, everything looks good. All right, fuel pump's on. For rich prop, fuel forward. We got flaps 15. We are trim for takeoff. And let's bolt out of here. All right, right rudder and full powers in. 
Looking for 60. Got 50. Lots. And we have 60. We're going to rotate. And gear is coming up. Gear's locked. We'll trim down. This thing loves to climb. Bring up those flaps coming up. We'll trim down a little more. Perfect. Flarestown traffic. Mooney's left crosswind. 2 5. Flarestown. And with traffic archer 4.5 west uh, inbound uh, straight in 2 6 hours meeting with the outbound traffic. Flaresdown traffic, Moody's downwind, 2-5, Flaresdown. Someone's the traffic, Turkey 2 and Fox Shot is on a 45 left downwind, 30 Somerset, helicopter in sight. Alright, flaps are up, gear is up, fuel pumps coming off, land lights coming off. And just is clear of the traffic area at Penridge to the east. And the power back. The beach is turning base 2-6. Security turning left down, wind 30 Somerset. Brace traffic, uh, commander right, uh, east departure. Brace. I miss Braden. I, I, I've been there in, for, for a while actually, Braden down there. Traffic archer, three miles straight in. Um, for 2-6, uh, departing traffic site and base traffic site will be number 2. Flare down traffic, moving to partner powder northeast, climbing to 1,700. See ya. Alright, we're good. And Beach 47 Mike is final. Temperature. We're all set. Pretty good. Pretty good takeoff. Nice well, smooth yeah, engine. Camp, turn a left base for 2 1 at Warwick. In the traffic, Skyhawk is left cross wind 2 7. Uh, now we've got a little bit of a push from behind. Summer's a traffic, Cherokee 2 and Fox Shot turning left base 3 0, Somerset. Good. Traffic cup parting runway 25, grass, traffic traffic place now. Warwick traffic camp turning final for 2-1 in the grass at Warwick. Traffic archer one and a half mile final, 2-6 energy. So I do get some questions on this airspeed indicator um, and the uh, D10A airspeed indicator. It is off. Um, I've been flying uh, miles per hour forever. I've been a VFR pilot the whole time. So started my IFR stuff. It's knots. So what I did was, this is a knots. I go by this majority of the time. I like, I like to cross-reference, just to reference my miles per hour, just so I can reference that, and once I, you know, once I probably get my cert, I will change it completely to knots, but I like that cross-reference, because um, I've been doing it, I mean, doing it for so long, uh, that I feel comfortable knowing that I have that there in case I need to reference it. Um, but I don't use it to do all my approaches. Helicopter, um, mile and a half north of the field. But once I do a lot of the approaches, when I get my certificate and do all that, I have to change it because, God forbid, this goes out for whatever reason. I mean, I do have this screen too, uh, you know, and I have this, but I, I can go by knots at that point. That's why the, there are different um, speeds. This is saying 109 knots. This is saying 125 miles per hour right now, so that's why. Put the power back, I'm not, you know, 71% power, it's saying here. Uh, I'm going to put it back a little bit more, and we'll put the mixture out a little bit more. We have traffic, but it's below us by 1,500. It's hazy out, so I'm going to do just 
for the heck of it. I'm gonna leave the lang light on. Um, it's a little hazy out here. The strobes are on, and um, it's an LED light. They climb a little faster here. Lemon well, traffic helicopter crossing the uh, departure end of two seven one thousand five hundred. Density altitude seven hundred. Orange County Airport, Montgomery, New York. Automated weather observation one three four niner Zulu. Wind calm. Visibility one zero. Winds are calm now, but they're probably still using two two. We'll we'll have the um, bit set in there. Let's listen to New York just to listen to them. Um, I have uh, Orange County in there. Um, and we'll go from that. If they're using 2-2, two, two, we'll go right downwind. If they're using 4, we'll see if we can go straight in. If there's no traffic. Very hazy. Up to 650, contact Boston, center one two five point five seven. Good day. There's clouds about 4,500, so I'm going to stay at 3,500. I know it's not the VFR altitude, um, but I'm not going into clouds, obviously. So we'll stay at we'll stay at 3,500. So let's bug that instead of 45. So we got some clouds uh, about 4,500. They're right above me here, and we'll stay at 3,500 for now. The ceilings for today are about 45 to 55, um, around 12 o'clock. So, yeah, it's 10 now, so it's about accurate. Okay, level off right here. Looking good. Power's pulled way back, 69% power. And we can, we can mixture out a little bit, a little bit more. Looking good. Uh, New York is slow today. Little panel view in here. Let's get this trim up, a little bit of an updraft here. Uh, close to the ridge line, you usually get some winds and stuff that's unpredictable. Here's the outside, facing that way. That's New York City, but it's very hazy. I don't see much of anything out that way. Um, let's go into the panel. There's my O2 sensor, or um, indicator. Um, the screen, right screen on full VFR map. And my GPS, the IFD 540. And of course, here is main PFD. Um, the backup, and Alfredo there. Fredo, I should say, is there. And there it is, on the MGJ, 29 mile, nautical miles out, we're at 12 and a half minutes. Everything's in the green down below, as you can see. Everything else is looking pretty good out here. I should put a little more mix, a little more fuel in there. Um, but that's, what I'm, that's my view right here. And my view off to the left, and that's out towards the Pennsylvania. So pretty good stuff. Dynon system is flying amazing. I love it. Uh, no regrets. I get some emails on regrets. I have zero regrets. The only thing we need to accomplish here is the autopilot. It's going right in here. Um, and as you guys can see on this side, I have everything set up for the autopilot. Um, so autopilot, pan autopilot panel, as you can see, the wires in the way there, and the autopilot servos are all there. So everything is kind of wired and ready to go, uh, but just need to get the autopilot approved by the FAA. Okay, I'm hoping at the end of the year here, it will be approved um, to get that taken care of. Um, here, of course, is the audio panel. So hard keys right here um, for the uh, thermometer altitude. Heading, and then the hard keys are to go right here uh, for the autopilot. 
Um, but there also will be a screen here for the autopilot touchscreen. Um, so we're hoping that becomes available uh, soon. And of course, there's all my switches, battery, a fuel pump, a radio master, there's a little bit of a glare there, uh, strobes, uh, pitot heat, tank collision lights, position lights, and landing light is over there, of course, uh, mixtures, and throttle, and, and the prop over here, co-pilot, push to talk, PPTT, and my other uh, fuses. So, that's what we got going on here today, and of course, we're in the highway in the sky boxes here. Um, once they get that autopilot installed, it would be on rails, and we'll be able to do an approach with the autopilot, right down the minimum. Um, so, that's it. We'll talk about that in a second, so. You said you wanted the VOR 2-4 to Poughkeepsie? We're 23 miles, miles, miles out now. VOR 2-4 would be uh, great if that works for Poughkeepsie. Back to you want to do the full approach? Full approach would be perfect. But, uh, the autopilot, when you're an IMC, this is just me, my personal minimums here, I like to have autopilot as a safety blanket. It's nice to use. Um, it does have wing, if you're getting into a situation where you're disoriented, you push a level button, it levels right out. Um, you know, it's, you know, hand flying is a great experience. And then so far, all my IFR training, um, it's all been hands-on. And uh, my instructor and I were in the clouds um, a couple of weeks ago, all the way from Orange County to Nantucket. The ceilings are only 500 feet in Orange County, right in the clouds, making all the turns. Um, you know, listen to ATC with the do, but it's, let's go back to Orange County. We're close. Uh, but you know, when you're studying for your IFR hands-on with the airplane, and you have your, your glasses on or your hood, like I have in the back, you know we got some traffic, but there's 2,300 people below us. You know you can pull that off, and you see VFR. You kind of have that in your back of your mind. You're not so panicky. But that was my first time in the cloud for three hours there and back. Um, once you're in the clouds, there's no turning back. There's no I can pull my head up or my glasses off and my uh, hood off and say, okay, I can still see I'm good. No, that's that's not happening. Uh, I even told my instructor that listen. A little nervous, watch what I'm doing, make sure I'm following ATC, make sure I'm not banking too hard. He said, no problem, I got you, and everything was perfect. You just listen to what you're trained to do, and, you know, uh, trust your instruments here. All you're basically doing is a non-powered airport. You get up in the air, you talk to ATC, they tell you which way you're going, and you tell you basically follow what they tell you uh, the whole time. So, so it's, it's pretty cool. And then in Nantucket, we were right down the minimums. Uh, you know, the, the ATC, the tower told us, the uh, steers in front of us uh, were at minimums. And we we're like, that was my first experience at minimums. But it was really cool experiencing that because you don't see nothing. You look back down, look up, look back down. You know, as I came up, we're getting very close, like 100 feet above minimums. Um, I looked up and just saw the runway and the airplane said minimums. But that was a really cool experience, I have to say. Uh, but yeah, 16 miles out. So pull the power back. You know, we were pulled way back, 145 knots over the ground. Now we'll pull back some more. And we're going downhill. We have somebody practicing over the black dirt uh, to our right. Um, I can see up through the circles, uh, eight Delta Sierra. I think that's a diamond over at the flight school. Probably doing their maneuvers, so we'll stay clear of them. Uh, we're going downhill here. Looking good. More mixture in a little bit. You see, even low power, you're going, I'm only going 450, 500 feet down per minute, and it picks up a lot of speed. Moody's are very sleek airplanes. I mean, you, you lose a little.
little room, not much in the cockpit area. Uh, when the Ranger, you lose more in the back than anywhere uh, for the passengers, but you still fit. I can still fit four people, no problem in here. Um, but you gain a lot of speed with all that. Um, or you get like, you know, a, uh, an arrow, which is a beautiful plane, it's Comanches, it's like flying a little airliner. Uh, it's bigger. Um, you don't get that speed. But you get a 250, which that thing will, will barrel through the air, you know, burning more fuel. So everything's an offset. Everything you do is an offset. Um, but for me, I had no problem with this plane, because it's really just how many times do you guys see anybody in the plane? And if I do, it's a front passenger, and maybe twice a year, I might have three or four going down to Ocean City, Maryland, or Block Island. So it's not a big deal. So we're going to look out. We're over here at Randall Airport, Middletown. Uh, we want to make sure there's no gliders in the area there, because uh, they do have gliders there, too. We have the landing light on. I have Orange County in front of me. I haven't heard anybody um, in the pattern yet, um, but we'll wait. We're going to fly up for four. Perfect driving to us out there, four miles northeast, 1,500 transition in southwest. New York. Automated weather observation. One, four, zero, two, Zulu. Wind calm. Um, wind still calm. Working traffic, Mooney 6887 November, 10 miles out to the west. Inbound uh, for four, unless somebody's using uh, 2 2 Orange County. I didn't hear anybody. Someone favor 2 2. 2 2 Orange County. Thank you, sir. Okay, 2 2. That's why I always ask. Because the winds have calm, uh, the weather, uh, but if winds are calm, what are you supposed to do? Rule of thumb, not a, not a rule. You want to fly, uh, take off north, northern heading. Um, but, the, the, you know, this can say calm, but down down below, uh, it might be favoring to, to look at the wind side. And, you know, I've been here plenty of times. Orange County is a pretty big airport where it's favoring 2-6, but on the other side it's favoring 2-2. Two, two. You know, it is what it is. But you follow the traffic pattern. Whoever in the pattern, just follow them in. There's no reason to cut anybody off and be stupid. It's not worth it. Uh, just follow, you know, just follow what everybody else is doing. I mean, if it's a huge difference, and you don't feel comfortable landing on a runway where there's a tailwind, obviously you do what you have to do. Uh, but typically, if it's only a one knot or two, uh, it's not, big, not a huge deal um, difference. So... Orange County traffic, Moody 6887 November is on a six and a half mile 45 for the midfield right downwind 2 2 descending through 2400 Orange County. On the 14th. Alright. Staying lights on, we don't need fuel yet. Um, fuel pump, I should say. We need fuel. There's not the fuel pump yet. And uh, all right, we're on a nice 45 to 2 2. Wind calm. The winds are still calm, but we'll use 2 2. Work night traffic, Mooney is now on a 5 mile 45 midfield. Right now, wind 2 2, Orange County descending through 2000. Orange County Automated Advisory Wind Com Altimeter 3022 for runway listen for traffic 3022 And Orange County Traffic Mooney 6887 November is now downwind uh, right downwind the 22 Orange County Traffic Orange County 1 Mike Bravo Departing 2-2 orange. Mooney, will you stay in the pattern or no? 
Throw off uh, when we get close. Nope, I'm going to do a, a full stop, sir. Approaching altitude. We're smidgen high. To drop more speed. You see my speed's climbing up. I'm not in the uh, gear speed yet. We got plenty of time. And we're kind of traffic. Moody is now midfield. Right down with 2 2. We're okay, we're at 1400. Now we're gear speed. Gear's coming down. Gear's coming down. And we're locked in. Simple as that. The Johnson bar. We put the fuel on. The gas. Undercarriage mixture. And prop. Perfect. And we'll do one. One push of laps. One pump. One notch. Whatever. Looking for that 2-2 two -two on the 45 over my shoulder, give that right base. Looking good on our speed. Don't need to switch tanks, we're good with that. Orange Knight traffic, Looney is turning right base now. 2-2, two -two. Orange Knight traffic. Alrighty. The power back a little more, trim. And let's do a notch, and notch, trim up, and ways in sight. Orange County Airspace traffic, Dakota, ahead. five miles out, inbound on the ILS for approach. We'll be breaking it off to... Orange County traffic, Mooney is turning final, 2-2, two -two. full stop, Orange County. Okay, so gas, undercarriage, mixture prop speed, we're a little high, a little fast, 5,000 foot runway in front of us, there will be plenty of time to stop. If you want to get into a situation where you gotta, you're got you too high, way too fast, and you have enough room, but you want to slip it, just cr cross your controls and slip it right in. And the, the plane will go sideways, you'll drop, and not pick up speed. Like I'm doing it right now. In Orange County. And just straighten it out. Is it a rudder? Go ailerons. Half miles out inbound on the ILS orbit. So, she wanted to slip it in. Right, power is at idle. Plenty of speed to burn off here. Idle, and we'll get the runway perfectly. Orange, one my problem, midfield downwind, Orange. We're at 80 miles an hour. I'm going to miss the first turn off here. Check that gear is good. All right. Oh, wheelie. Dynamic braking. All right, flaps. Extra's coming out. Nice landing. Fuel pumps off. We keep the landing light on. Cutting the grass here in Orange County. These guys, I tell you, maintenance crew here, a lot of credit. They're shorthanded. Uh, always cutting the grass, making this airport look really nice. Taking care of things that need to be taken care of. Uh, very quickly. County traffic, uh, Dakota breaking off the ILS for approach joining 2-2. Uh, very quick to, to plow the snow, even though you really can't fly. Oh, you know, but do a good job here. Just, like, they give a lot of credit. All the hangars are full. Orange County traffic. When he's clear, 2-2 two, two Alpha. 2 going to T-4. All right, folks, we made it back to Orange County. Olive's having had a great time. It's a little hot back there, probably. The next plane, one day, when I hit the lottery, uh, Mooney evasion, evasion. That air conditioning. I mean, you only use it when you're taxi taxiing, because you get up a couple thousand feet, it's cool anyway, but I think I'm gonna do that, man. That's why I hit the lottery next. <laughs> we'll see when that happens. Uh, but. The traffic come in, they can even see on the Dynon screen here. Traffic. I'm surprised they didn't yell at me about traffic, but maybe they think we're pretty far away. Oh, uh, this is a story, folks. Oh, my hanger, I moved my hanger, got a nicer hanger. 
Um, that was nice. What else is going on? Nothing else is going on. Some things planned for the spring here, or for the summer. Yeah, Spring's over. Traffic Dakota is on uh, right now. Um, for summer start of Memorial Day, that was Monday. We're good. Folks, thank you again for flying along. I appreciate it. Um, thank you uh, selling a lot of those special edition shirts online. Uh, thank you for that support. I'm not raising my prices. I know some guys, I'm selling, you're selling them for too cheap. It's okay. I'm not here to make money. I'm here to make you guys happy and have some fun and enjoy some of the flyings we do. And, uh, you know, just, it's fine. Make a couple bucks a shirt. It is what it is. Uh, but, yeah, check it out, pilotfun101.com, you'll see on there. I will have them at the air show, or at the fly-in, too, if this video makes it before, before the fly-in. Um, but I'll put it out there on Facebook, you guys can check it out, pilotfun101 on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and, of course, YouTube. I got a taxi close, T4 is my new hangar, so it's right across from the, uh, the uh, flight school here. So it's uh, it'll be easy for a taxi, I guess. Alright guys, till next time, fly safe, be safe, and I'll see you guys.